Okay, uh, we have our dodecahedron on the left and icosahedron on the right. Now, uh, the icosidodecahedron, a bit of a mouthful that it is, um, is obviously a combination of the two of these shapes. Um, you can actually build it uh, exactly the same way using either polyhedron. But we'll start with the dodecahedron because we made the... Um, icosahedron first, then we made the dodecahedron, and then we'll make the icosidodecahedron. Right, this is a simple process. Again, we've all of our faces are components, so if we adjust one, we'll adjust them all. And uh, what we want to do this, we're going to use snap again. We're snapping the middle point on the edge and drawing a line. There we go. And we just go all the way around the face of our dodecahedron, the pentagon face. Right, there we go. So what if you look at it carefully, what we've done is by drawing a line halfway around the inside, we've produced another pentagon, but it's upside down. So there's the big outside pentagon. And here's a small pentagon intersecting with the edges inside it. Take the rubber and do some rubbing out. Right, we'll come out of that now. And as you can see, we have effectively an icosidotachahedron, except where we have these faces. Um, they're missing instead of having a face so what we need to do is draw a face in there so we'll draw a face and we'll make that into a component new component we we'll call this one I cozy dodeca and it's the equilateral face, QL. Now, all we have to do from here is, you're getting the theme here, is to rotate this around the structure. See our central point there? If we do a rotate from here through the central point, this is down there. And we'll do the same again. We'll just continue doing this all the way down. Right, we're going to select all of those equilateral triangles. These are the faces of our icosahedron. And then we're going to, if I do I, have, I don't have the middle marked, I'll have to go off the middle point there. We'll rotate them. Seventy two degrees times four. Right, let's check our structure again. We appear to have filled in all the holes, so all the holes are in. And what we can do next is we'll check our structure. I want to cop copy move this. And I'm just going to rub out those lines on the inside. This is still the centre, but it, instead of going out to the dodeca corners, it's going through the middle of one of these. So we'll rub that out because we don't need it at the moment. And that might interfere. Right, we'll pop that back. We edit. 
explode and then we we just check our yeah all these like all these internal lines have gone thin that's a good sign uh, just wonder have a look a good look at uh, the polyhedron to see that there's no gaps and just to double check we'll use the move tool and it, it everything's connected so that's um, that's done so that's how you produce the icosi dodecahedron now you can do exactly the same process I'll, I'll go a little way through it with the icosahedron uh, what we did was we went halfway we drew oh I think I messed that up make sure you get the snap and it says snap yeah and then we rub out the corners There we go, and I'm going to rub them to cut the lines out. Yeah, you can see that we've produced exactly the same shape. Uh, this was the icosahedron, this was the dodecahedron. So it doesn't matter which one you use, um, and that gives you our third polyhedron, the icosi dodecahedron. Uh, we'll be following the, this up uh, with some more. Um, and maybe even getting really complicated so subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one